R-V-B-N, The Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great entertainment video blogs, plus lots more collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 and on several social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 7.53 in the morning in Bellica, Massachusetts, about 19 degrees out right now only going to be about 31 32 degrees today so bundle up windshield couple more days like this with modifying temperatures then tuesday night a kitchen sink storm snow sleet freezing rain eventually changing to a whole rain and wednesday could shoot up to the 56 degrees so it's going to Eliminate what snow falls on Tuesday. Then back to the cold weather. Snowy pattern could happen. Um, good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Saturday, February 4th, 2017. Some news to report on the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Boston Celtics beat the Los Angeles Lakers by the score of 113-108. Celtics have the most wins by any NBA team in history now. And also, Brad Stevens, coach of the Celtics, has been named coach of the NBA Eastern Conference All-Star Team. Even though the Cleveland Cavaliers um, are the number one seed in the NBA, League rules prohibit um, the coach with the number one seeded team by the, by the All-Star but great to coach the NBA All-Star team two years in a row. So congratulations to Brad Stevens. The Liu Marslow River Hawks beat Northeastern by the score of 6-4. Um, it's World Cancer Day. Cancer sucks big time. It needs to be curable 100%. They need to donate millions upon millions of dollars about this, give billions and billions of dollars, but sometimes they don't give billions and billions of dollars to research of cancer. And the University of Arizona State University has pulled out of a deal to build a arena that was going to be housing the Arizona State um, hockey team and basketball team and the Arizona Coyotes. Big blow to the Coyotes and if they to stay in the desert southwest. Gary Bettman needs to consider moving this team because they're running out of options in Arizona. Move them to Seattle or Portland, Oregon or Milwaukee, Wisconsin because the Coyotes will never get a new arena in Arizona. And that's about it on that. And that's the news for the RBBN News. I do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my first video blog of the day. Keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Julie is my few favorite cute leggy blonde from Orlando, Florida. She rocks and I'm one of her biggest fans and very soon I'm going to interview Miss Broughton on my video chat. It's going to be real interesting. Julie, you're the best. Thumbs up to you. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is my personality pretty profile. Today's personality profile is about Pro Football Hall of Fame linebacker, I mean uh, offensive tackle, and former NFL coach Art Shell. Art Shell was famous for playing football for many years and eventually becoming the first African American coach in NFL history. Art was born and he grew up in Charleston, South Carolina. He was a star football player in high school and he got recruited to many colleges because of his outstanding achievements and he he went to Maryland State and he was such a great offensive tackle there 
that he won some all conference awards and the Oakland Raiders drafted Art in the third round, 80th overall pick in 1968. He played all 15 seasons in the NFL with the Raiders playing offensive tackle. He was kind of the leader of the Raiders offensive line during those years. He made the Pro Bowl eight times. Two times he was an All-Pro first team. Two times he was the All-Pro second team. Six times he was the All-AFL first team. And one time he was the All-AFC second team. He was part of the All-70s decade team for the NFL. And he played in three Super Bowls, winning all three, which is pretty, pretty amazing. And Art was just such a great player. He was kind of the heart and soul of the Raiders. He retired playing 277, no, 207 games, starting 155. He made the Pro Football Hall of Fame after Art retired. He became the offensive coach for the LA Raider, Raiders for about six years. In 1989, the, the owner of the Oakland uh, Raiders, which they were now in Los Angeles, Art, I mean Al Davis, named Art the first African-American head coach in NFL history. And he had a decent record for the Raiders in 19, from 1989 um, through 1994. He also coached in 2006. He had two times 10 win seasons. He won one AFC West title in 1990, making three playoff appearances. He led the Raiders to the 1990 AFC Championship game. They lost to the Buffalo Bills. He won Coach of the Year one year and he got fired at the end of the 1994 season by the Raiders. They were moving back to LA, I mean to Oakland, and then um, Art returned to become like an offensive coach for a couple of other teams, the Chiefs and the Falcons. He was offensive lines coach in 1998 when the Falcons made the first Super Bowl. He returned to the to coach the Raiders in 2006, but they had a mediocre record, and that was fired after one season, which that was not good. His career records, 56 and 52, two and three in the playoffs, no Super Bowl appearances as a coach, as a head coach, and he was a really good pioneer for like cultures for African Americans and I'm very surprised that Art didn't have a long run as an NFL head coach because he could have been probably one of the greatest head coaches of the like 1990s but those things happen and that's about it on him I'll be back later Facebook YouTube Twitter and Google Plus to more video blogs coming for you Facebook YouTube Twitter and Google Plus First video blog will now be about which colleges should be the 12th team to join Hockey East. It's going to be real interesting. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about May to December romances, which is an older man dating a younger woman and vice versa. And I like always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Rosebud, WCCO, Exxon, Nice Likes. Elizabeth Hatt, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome. Amy, Linda Church of WPIX, Channel Love, New York. Such a cracking cougars. Got the best legs in New York City. Kelly Nash of NHL Network and MLB Network. There's a stunning brunette with nice legs. Lisa Bell of WKMG Love. New Six in Orlando, Florida has a great smiley face and she's my fourth favorite leggy lady in Orlando behind um, Amy 
Elizabeth and Julie. And in the words of Deep It Help, as we know,